What's up everybody? Today is the freaking day. We are doing the X pipe on this baby and getting some more sound out of those pipes. Now, I know what you're thinking. This isn't an aftermarket X pipe. This is the stock one. What happened? Well, to be honest with you, I already did the X pipe. I wanted to make a video on it, but I realized that it is far too difficult to try and record the step-by-step -step process on how to dig out this X pipe. I went way over my head with this job. <laughs> Um, so that's why I want to make an instructional video. I want to make this video purely instructional so I can help the next person on, on their attempt to uh, install the X-Pipe. I had a couple hands to help me and uh, I had way more tools than I thought I was going to need. So yeah, let's get into it. The point of this video is to show you which bolts to loosen up at what point so you can use my video in combination with Adam's to help you with this. I'll start off by uh, showing you all the tools that I used. Um, you're going to need a full set of Torx bits. In inserts would be great. Wrenches are fine. Um, you're going to want metric and standard allen wrenches um you're gonna want like t handles you're gonna want ones like this short long just try and have as many tools as you can because although i completed the job with what you see here it was a royal pain in the butt and with some better tools it would have been much easier on me but anyways you're gonna want a full set of these wrenches metric and standard um even ones with the little ratcheting end to it that would be ideal for this job because there's going to be points where you're just going to be getting a quarter turn at a time um full socket set you're going to want a specialty tool aka your 10 millimeter all right first thing you're going to need to do is take off that seat um one thing that i did not realize when attempting this job is that there is no physical way to get that x pipe out of that bike um, with the frame where it is this frame right here you're gonna need to displace that um, we're gonna need to loosen that up not remove it but loosen it up to give you some wiggle room so you can you can wiggle the X pipe out of there so first thing you're gonna want to do is take off the seat and you're gonna want to take off take out this bolt this bolt is the only one that is holding the gas tank on there the tool you're gonna need for that is a 10 millimeter so get your 10 millimeter out and slide this whole bolt loose um, once you have freed the tank the reason we had to do that is because of this bolt right there um, so once you get that bolt completely loosened up all you're going to want to do is have a friend or somebody help you slide this tank back you can wiggle it back to expose this bolt which we're eventually going to need to loosen up so once you do that you're going to bust out your allen wrenches and i would start by loosening up the this bolt right here i believe that's like an eight what is that? It's a 10. It's, it's a 10 millimeter Allen. You're going to want to loosen that up. Um, you're also going to want to loosen these two bad boys up right here. Um, these two bad boys hold the frame to the engine here. So um, you're going to want to bust out your Torx wrenches. I believe this one is a T30. Yeah, I believe that one's a T30. So you're gonna wanna use a T30 for that. Loosen those up. And then you're gonna wanna come under here. Um, obviously you wanna loosen this, this one up. That, that one's just holding onto the exhaust pipe. But um, yeah, you're gonna wanna loosen that one up just because um, and then the last one is this. I believe it's another 10 millimeter, but those three points are all you're gonna need to loosen up that uh, that side of the frame to give you enough clearance for the X pipe. All right, now we can start picking away at the exhaust. This is basically where I had started doing it. I went in kind of blind. 
Um, so I didn't realize that the frame was such a crucial part of the operation. So anyways, you're gonna wanna start with these guys right here. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is loosen this bad boy up right there. Uh, I'm not sure what millimeter Allen that is, but man, you just gotta have a set on you. So I'll loosen that bad boy up on both sides. Once you do, basically it's a collar that wraps around. Once that's loose and you have that collar loosened on the other side, you can pull out right here and this thing will slide, will pop out and slide out this way. It's got like a little needle that sits in this pipe so um so it mounts it in place once you have those removed you're just going to want to start picking away at all this stuff you're going to want to loosen up this get your socket set out loosen up these two bolts um also there's two on the other side you're going to want to get in there with some of your wrenches like this right here you're gonna want to take care of that bolt that's at eight millimeter you're gonna want to loosen that up so the cross pipe up top can be separated so you're gonna want to loosen that up um, this is a collar that that comes apart in two pieces um, you're gonna want to slide the whole header out once we're done but before we can do that we have to continue taking apart all the little bolts that connect this X pipe in. Um, you're gonna need to use wrenches, uh, sockets when you can. Um, that's the aftermarket X pipe I have right there, but it's basically the same on the stock one. You're gonna wanna remove, you're gonna wanna take off all these kinds of all four um, of these ends here. There's also a mount underneath it, and there is a mount in front that you cannot see because this X-pipe right here was the stock one. Basically, this goes through a hole, and this side gets locked down, but there was a cover in front. It kind of looked like this. So that's one of the things that you're gonna wanna remove. It was kind of sitting like that, so. And I think this is the bolt. So you're going to want to take your Allen wrenches, get that cover off so you can expose everything under there. And do just like what I did. Just start taking apart exhaust. Um, that includes getting this bad boy out. And, uh, and loosening up everything underneath. So basically what you have this completely freed up once you have this pipe completely freed up on both sides um, you can wiggle that out and that will free up these ends right here all right well i guess theoretically we would be at the point where we could slide this x pipe out so we'll just pretend like we have successfully slid this x pipe out um, now there's going to be four pieces that you're going to want to keep track of and those are the collars that actually went around around these ends here. Um, they're a total pain in the butt. They, they completely separate from the X-pipe. You're gonna wanna keep an eye on those. Uh, this is what I'm talking about here. These like little, um, they, they almost remind me of V-band clamps. If anyone knows what a V-band clamp is, but they remind me of the V-band clamps. Um, and there's basically like a little ring there's this clamp and then there's like a ring that separates it um, you're gonna want to take both of those and you're gonna want to transfer all the hardware over to your new X pipe so you're gonna want to have the mount out and you're gonna want to have um, you're gonna want to get that X pipe uh, ready by swapping over hardware you know little bushings and stuff um, basically anything you could find that's left on this X pipe you want to transfer over um, there's gonna be a little redundancy like for instance there is no guard on the X pipe I have I purchased mine from cone engineering um, I'll probably have a full exhaust system by then um, at, by them at some point but yeah uh, so the cover doesn't go back on um, this thing right here used to have this in it um, I don't think that's necessary anymore as you could tell here there's certain things that you will not reuse like this right here um, 
which is good because getting the new X pipe in is a little easier than getting the old X pipe out. So once you get that X pipe swapped out, you're gonna wanna put the mounting plate back in first. I'm telling you, it'll make it a little easier by putting the plate in first, getting everything locked down, and then simply slipping this rod through this side and getting the X pipe in place. Um, now, don't be a dummy like me and try and get these uh, clamps and, and rings on last. Took me a while to slip them on after I had put the X-Pipe back in. So, yeah, why don't you do yourself a favor and get these suckers on before the X-Pipe is in place. Um, so, yeah, once you've done that and you've aligned it, uh, I would even recommend taking these exhaust pipes off. Um, I recommend doing it from the front first. So that, that means getting the X-pipe in, slipping these two header pieces back into the front. So getting the front side uh, inserted first. And then, then once you're done with the front side, you can start doing the back side. But once you get the front side, you're gonna wanna wrestle with this collar. Um, one side of the collar slips underneath the other and it's a little different on the other side um, So they kind of like overlap each other in a certain way. I got stuck on that for a while um, You're gonna want to get both header pipes inserted into the in, into the motor get these on remember once we're putting stuff back on and tightening it down You're not gonna wrench it to spec yet um, You're just gonna want to get it get it in right now and get everything aligned once you start tightening things down before others um, you're gonna have a problem with with fitment later on so just get everything loosely um, inserted and um, after that you're gonna want to obviously uh, get that frame kind of tightened down a little bit this is a crucial part of the operation that frame uh, handles all the load so you're gonna wanna kinda tighten that down slowly, all the points. Um, at one point I had to like displace this radiator a little bit, so I undid that bolt. Um, if so, if you had to do the same thing, you know, tighten that back down, no big deal. Uh, at this point you can kinda reverse engineer the whole thing. You could put it back to the way that it was before and it's a total pain in the butt, but once you get it to that point, um, it's a little more straightforward. Um, you're gonna wanna like obviously get the front side tightened down first and then you can come to the back side and deal with these, these freaking clamps. They're a total pain in the butt, but once you get them in, um, it'll make your life a little easier. You'll basically have the X-pipe installed at that point. It's just gonna be a matter of tightening down all the bolts. At this point, the X-pipe should be in. Um, you should have the frame locked down to the factory torque spec. You want that frame down. You want the, uh, obviously you want to have all the four ends of the X-pipe cleanly um, mated to the, the other exhaust, the other sections of exhaust. Um, you're going to want these protective covers back on. It took me a little bit to cosmetically line everything up. As you can see, there's kind of a little seam on either side that this cover um, will hide. So uh, the first time I aligned all the pipes, this one on this side, one on the other side, um, the first time I aligned these pipes up, they didn't quite match and one side was a little janky. So you're gonna want to make sure that this whole thing is straight, looks nice. Um, wanna make sure all your mounts are locked down. Wanna make sure everything is is torqued down to spec, including this crossover pipe, the radiator. You wanna double check everything. Have your friends help you slide the tank forward. Um, you wanna get that bolt back in there. Basically just reverse engineer the entire thing. It's much easier getting the new X-pipe uh, on. So um, I'm sorry this video wasn't very helpful visually. Um, like I said, I attempted to record my process and um, 
I bit off more than I could chew. It, it would be way too difficult to record every step-by-step -step process that I did because um, I had a heck of I had a heck of a time. It should have been like maybe an hour and a half job, and I turned it into a four-hour job. So um, that's why I wanted to make this video, and I wanted to point to all the bolts that you're gonna want to loosen up. Um, Adam Kroll did a great job with his video, but he uh, left out the whys and whens of the operation. Um, he, if you watch this video, he actually removes the entire gas tank with uh, with little to no explanation on why he's doing it. So, um, I, you know, if you're a dummy like me, um, you're going to get stumped relying on uh, that video solely. So that's why I came out with this video. And um, also, this video was brought to you by the new GoPro Hero 7 that I just picked up. I'm recording in 4K, so I hope that it looks good. As crispy as I think it does if you enjoyed this video or if this video helped you out to do the X pipe uh, please like and subscribe this is one of the more boring videos that I've done because I just want to help people uh, get this X pipe in I mean it's something so simple but it's easily one of the most difficult things that I've had to do on this bike so far well, thanks for watching and uh, the next video I'll give you an exhaust clip of what this sounds like Peace.